This video is sponsored by Squarespace. With great marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence. Welcome back to a new studio vlog. We're gonna be doing a lot of shop prep for the next few days. I also need to prepare Patreon benefits for March. So we're gonna be doing some iPad drawing today actually, and I may or may not take you guys to the streaming studio with me. Before we begin though, I thought we would do a bit of a chatty little segment where I show you all of the merch I designed. I basically received everything in the mail. The only thing I'm waiting on are my tote bags, which are supposed to arrive today, so. Pretty cool. First things we can talk about, I guess we can talk about the Rezo print first. I got this last week. Looks like this. I'll show a better B-roll of it later. So my thing about this print was when it first came out, I was so disappointed just because I thought the colors were really dull. Or not dull, I thought it was just washed out. But the thing is this sunflower yellow color really can't be as saturated as I wanted it to be. So yeah, when it came out, I was like, oh no, it looks so like faint. I asked a bunch of my friends and my friend Vicky was like, oh, it still looks readable, don't worry. So I think it's okay. I do wish the colors were a bit more saturated, but that's just like a learning lesson for me next time not to use um, the sunflower yellow so much. I think it's good as an accent color. If you go up close, like a lot of the, like I wish this peach outline was just a bit thicker, but I hope people still like it. I got this keychain made of spicy. I find the oranges to be way too yellow for some reason. I showed this to my patrons and a bunch of people were like, it's still cute, don't worry. Um, and it is still cute, but I'm just kind of disappointed in how the yellows came out and I contacted the manufacturer, so we'll see what they say. I still like it. I think the star is super cute. I've also never made keychains before, so it was still a nice experience. Like the quality of the keychain is quite nice. I also have three new stickers. So I have this one that says, yes, I have a big brain which is just Rover and Cosmo and the little strawberry. And then I have this one, this is a clear sticker and it says, I'm a very serious artist. It's like my latest installment and it's clear, which is kind of fun because I've never um, sold clear stickers in my shop before. I already announced the date actually Saturday, which is the 26th of February. So by the time the video comes out, the shop will be like ready to open the next day. In order to open the shop, I need to do inventory, I need to take product photos, I need to do all of the classic update things. I also need to figure out some commerce stuff. Now we're gonna transition to a little bit of an Etsy rant. 
I've talked about how much I don't like Etsy before on my channel and um, it's gotten worse if you can believe it. Basically what happened is I use Etsy right now to handle all of my EU and UK orders because they're one of the only online commerce platforms that handle VAT tax. They claim that on their labels they have all of the VAT information. Some of those packages got held at customs which is natural it happens all the time. A few of my customers were kind of confused about what to do. Mainly you just have to monitor the the tracking number very closely and then pay the custom fee when it gets to customs. I couldn't find the tracking number just because it was an Etsy label, so it only tracked up to the point it was in the US. So when it was in Italy, where it was going, it just didn't have a tracking number. So I contacted Etsy and I was just like, and they said, oh, no worries, tell your customer to contact us. And I was like, okay, cool, they'll handle it for me. So my customer emails me and they're like, um, so what do I do if I don't like what Etsy told me to do? And then I said, you mean like, what did they tell you to do? And they said, they told me to report you. And that really put a bad taste in my mouth. Another thing that happened was they upcharged me for a bunch of labels. They said, you didn't put the accurate um, weight on your packages, but I know for a fact that I did because I measured them all out on the scale. I know for a fact that I adequately paid. I even paid for a bit more just in case. And they charged me like an extra $40, which I think is really ridiculous. I've had enough bad experiences with them on top of the stupid star seller program and just their obsession with free shipping. I don't like how high the fees are. I don't need to sell in a marketplace anymore. We'll get to work now and I'll talk to you later. I really like how the Patreon benefits for February came out. And this is the matching sticker. It's very like Valentine's Day kind of themed, but also not, I don't know. It's also kind of Lunar New Year themed as well. Um, and I'm also in a bit of a red phase, so. Now we're gonna thank the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Thank you so much again, Squarespace, for sponsoring my video. I use Squarespace for my secret Patreon shop and my portfolio. I love all the themes they have and how easy it is to use. They give you plenty of different options to display your portfolio in a really beautiful way. And unlike other website platforms that are quite restrictive on how they let you build the pages, I like that Squarespace allows you to add text boxes and pictures, but still makes everything look nice. They have automatic image scaling too, which is quite useful when it comes to displaying artwork in a portfolio. And yeah, I really love working with them and thank you so much again, Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Megan Wang to get 10% off your first purchase.
12, 14. I have been drawing all morning and I really like how this is coming out. Like it's, it's what I have so far. This is what I got. I feel like I just need like another two hours or so to finish it up, maybe one hour. I'm shocked that I only spent an hour and 18 minutes on this. Um, I love the time tracking feature on Procreate because it's really helpful um, in telling me how long I spent on something. Um, but it's 12.15 and I want to take lunch now and I'm trying to be better about feeding myself lunch. I feel like some days when I'm on like an editing streak and I have like a lot of videos to do, I can get so immersed in editing and then I just don't end up taking the best lunch or I'll eat something like a couple snacks, but it's not like a good meal and I want to be better about that. So we're going to heat up lunch. Yeah. Here's my extremely rustic lunch. Hello, hello. It's like 2 p.m. right now, and I think I'm done with the with the piece. I finished it again much faster than I thought. Let's see how long it took. Two hours and 22 minutes? That is out of this world. I might work on it a little bit more, but okay, here's what it looks like now. Don't know how clear it is for you, but this is what it looks like now, basically. And if you watched my last video, I talk all about how I'm trying to have, I'm trying to be less judgmental. I'm trying to, you know, be gentle with myself. And I feel the urge to like keep going. And I honestly feel like I overwork pieces a lot because um, also something that I feel like I have a lot is this like perfectionist streak where I want everything to look perfect. Um, which is impossible. And then in trying to make it look perfect, I kind of lose a lot of that fun, whimsy and casual um, and playful illustration style that I'm trying to achieve. Yeah, I guess I wanna start being like, question, is it cute? And if I'm like, yeah, it's cute, then I should stop. <laughs> I just wanna come up with some way to force myself to stop overworking stuff. My tote bags are here. Oh my god, oh my god. So exciting. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! Oh my goodness. Wow. Nice. Cute, right? They're big. It feels, the canvas feels lighter than the heavyweight but so this is what the design looks like so fun this is the same kind of bag as my last tote um the butterfly ones it comes with a big old gusset um and it's huge but this bag feels bigger than the other one for some reason yeah it's a big old bag i really like how it turned out actually I think the the printers did an amazing job. Like this, is just, this is cr some crisp printing. Woo! Yeah. Wow! Pink totes, pink totes. So exciting. You guys want some food? Want some food?
He knows when I tell him to go places. You so smart. I didn't even know to see what that came there. He wanted to, I told him, I was like, go try it out again. You were saying no with this now. Okay, so I wanted to quickly chat about this air filter I got. So the brand Levoit, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but they offered to send me this really nice air filter. So I graciously accepted because Raptor and I actually really needed one. Um, two kittens means double the fur and double the poo. So um, Robert's allergies have actually been acting up. Also, we noticed that when Rover first arrived, he was sneezing a lot. And I think that was just maybe because of the dust or just something in the air. So I was very, very excited when Voight offered to send me this. I very, very deeply appreciate it. We've had this air purifier for actually a couple weeks now. I wanted to wait a couple weeks so I could give like a really quality review. It has definitely cleaned up the air on even the first day that it got here I noticed a huge difference in just the air. <laughs> I just didn't know that there could be so many different qualities in the air. Robert's allergies got better in like a few hours. I don't think Rover sneezes as much either so that's been a plus. Things I don't like about it is that it is kind of big. Um, this model is really nice. It's actually meant for a larger space than the apartment we have. We move into like a bigger place it'll be nice to have such a big air filter um, but because our space is a little small it is kind of bulky and takes up a lot of area. Because it's so big it is quite powerful. Like our it is cleaning the air. Robert named it Mike and you can get like an app so whenever like the air quality goes down we get a notification that's like Mike is on Mike is on the job he's cleaning your air something like that it's, it's cute. The interface can like wake up and turn off depending on how bright it is in the room so yeah I genuinely like this product it is really pricey so I would say if you're looking to splurge on a really high quality air filter if you have a bigger space um, I would say this is a really good option. <laughs> Thank you so much LaVoy for sending this to me really appreciate it. I wonder if I have a picture of what it looked like before. <laughs> Like so much more sun is coming into the studio now so I feel like this plant is doing like really good. <sighs> this one has been through so much. Yesterday I went to go do like one of my favorite weekend activities, which is loitering at Target. Um, and I got more of these. I already have some of these. They're like the, I think it's one of Target's brands like called Bright Room. And I'm gonna use these for stickers just because my little sticker organizer that sits on my desk is getting kind of full and my stickers are getting larger. Like I'm enjoying making stickers that are a bit bigger um, and they don't always fit. So for these ones, for example, I can just plop these in here. And it'll be really nice to carry around and like easy to pack with and it just looks nice and neat. Today will be my last day of vlogging because I have to get this video up. So um, I think what we're gonna do today is we need to do inventory. We also need to create all the listings. We need to edit product photos. And lastly, we need to pack up my tote bags. Last time when I had my totes, I didn't really pack them all at once and I would just pack them as I went. And I found that was like really annoying when packing. I wanna pre-pack them all. I feel like when I get back to work after like a weekend, um, it's really nice to, I find it really easy to jump back into the swing of things for packing. So we're gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs>
So basically I'm done with everything except uploading my product photos and I need to fix up my website a bit more. I'm making the executive decision, which is kind of tough. I've been thinking a lot about Etsy and Big Cartel and what I want to do for selling and I have decided that I no longer want to use my Etsy shop at all. I've been using Etsy to sell to the EU and the UK because they handle that. Um, if you don't know what VAT tax is, it's just like another import tax that happens. Like if you buy from my shop in the US and you live in the EU or the UK, these countries or the government imposes like an import tax, so you have to pay even more. Sometimes these import taxes can be incredibly high, so um, I'm just grateful for people who still pay it in order to get my work. Um, yeah, I'm very thankful to all my friends living across the sea. And I kept my Etsy shop open because Etsy handles VAT tax. They will collect it beforehand. Um, and that's all fine and dandy, but Big Cartel does not, which is the, the platform that I use to host like my main shop. I've decided that I really just hate Etsy. It's given me so many issues. They charge me unfairly. Um, I talked about it earlier on this video, so I'm not gonna repeat myself. If you wanna go back, you can listen, but basically I don't wanna use Etsy anymore. And this creates some challenges. Apparently shipping to the UK versus the EU is different. Um, apparently UK VAT collection is incredibly complicated. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be able to ship to the UK as of right now. So I'm very, very sorry to all of my friends living in the UK. Also just having two shops is really irritating for me sometimes. Splitting up my inventory can be really annoying and it's just a lot to keep track of. So I think I'm just gonna stick to having one shop for now. I will still be shipping to the EU, but I need to make it like super, super clear that even though I can't collect that tax upfront, you will have to eventually pay it when it gets to your country. And I'm gonna do my best to make this like super clear to people who shop from me, who live in the EU, so they're aware. I talked to my friend Radia, who is very knowledgeable about these things. Radia's got big old brain. 
Also, it's important to track your order through the, the tracking number. It's really important to follow the tracking number because they don't often like notify you when you have something. So you have to like track the number and then pay it in order to get your package. It can like clear customs basically. I probably will run into some issues and have to do some like emailing and I don't know. I feel like it's worth it just because I really don't want to use Etsy anymore. I don't really agree with them as a platform. And yeah, again, if you live in the UK and you want my artwork, I'm super, super sorry. Hopefully I'll be able to figure something out for the next update. So yeah, hopefully it's okay. I'm very, very sorry to everyone in the UK. Um, I'm, I apologize. I think this is just the best decision right now for my business and hopefully in the future I can figure something out. Yeah. I also think I'm gonna close the video off here. I'm just gonna finish things up and I hope you enjoyed this shop update prep video. I know it was a bit more quieter than usual. I've definitely been feeling a bit, I guess not, not that I'm like, super sad or anything i've just been feeling like a bit lower energy so i hope like this the quieter vibes were a bit nice for you a good little change of pace i'll see you very soon take care have a wonderful rest of your february and i'll see you very very soon bye